Hello, today's video is on stock number 35906TE, the uh, 5 megahertz handheld mini scope, uh, single channel to the BNC at the top here. Uh, give you a quick idea of the size. These are one inch squares, so you can see it's nice compact. It is truly handheld. Uh, let's see what about else about it. Uh, at the bottom, this is the on off switch. Uh, this is a micro USB port for charging the internal battery. It'll run about three hours on, on a full charge. Uh, if you need more time than that, it does come with the cable. You can just simply plug it in, a USB cable. You can plug it in and, and run it that way. Uh, only thing I would like to point out about this is this is an unusually long micro USB. I don't know if you can get, get a shine there. You see how long it is. Some micro USB connectors will not plug into that and make, make contact. So do not lose your cable. Also comes with a little manual. Uh, we rewrote the manual, make it a little bit more user friendly, a little bit of uh, uh, explanation. Little soft sided case. Um, it comes with also a single 1x alligator clip to BNC probes in the case. We went out and found some nice little uh, 10x scope probes that we are including with the, with the, the, with the, the scope. Uh, only problem is it will not fit inside of the case. It's too big. So, but we we definitely thought you should have that. So that's included. Okay, let's get in here and, and get a rough idea how this thing works. Uh, as you can see in the upper left hand corner here, you have a button called AC slash DC, and and it switches. Hopefully you can read that there on the display, switching between AC and DC. Uh, let's see, on the display, it's 2.4 inches, 320 dots by 240. Gives you a nice, nice little display there. Uh, let's see, in the lower left-hand corner, you have 1x, 10x. That does not affect sensitivity, as you can see here, it changes from 1x, 10x there. That simply, it's kind of a little safety feature. It keeps you from putting your voltage too high. Uh, 1x, you got just 10 volt per division. If you switch it to a... I'm um, sorry, under 1x, maximum 10 volts. Change it over to 10x, it'll allow you to get up to 200 volts per division. Just a little added safety. It does not affect uh, the sensitivity of it. Uh, let's see, well, next is you have your standard trigger mode. You've got single, normal, auto. That's your little trigger set point. Uh, a little bit over, if you want to, you, it sets an automatic 50% button. Auto. Auto helps uh, get you in the range quicker. A little less, little less uh, messing with the buttons. Uh, in this operating mode, let's see, that's, that's the voltages. Uh, the left and right affect the, uh, the horizontal rate. Then let's see, you have run and you got stop, obviously, so you can stop and look at something a little closer. Next, uh, let's get into the actual, oh, one last thing when you're in operating mode. You hit the mode button and you have this uh, button here. You see this little, this little symbol. It changes to the different type of uh, trigger options you have. You can read the data sheet and uh, most people will just simply keep it in, in the, that mode. It comes from the factory like that. Uh, let's see, under the, then you press the menu button. And this little screen comes up and let's say you want more information you click OK and you click on you hit OK again and you notice it switches the little dot to the next to the on when you hit menu again see is that visible in the screen it comes up with all the different measurements some people like it some people don't you can just simply again hit the buttons okay off hit menu it disappears Next is uh, the cage, which is the little hash marks. So you can turn that on and off. As you can see, the, the little hash marks disappear. Let's put those back on. There we go. Okay, and they're back. Um, let's see, auto 50%. On or off.
then you have multi buffer. What, uh, oops, as I understand it, helps you, uh, you can increase or decrease the, the, the resolution depending on your waveform. Whether you need high or slow, fast or slow. And uh, save wave. This allow you to uh, save some waveform, like the, what, what, so you can review it later. Uh, once you have it, you just click OK, and it says complete when it's saved. Uh, let's go down. I did some previously, just to give you an idea. One thing that kind of caught me off guard a little bit: it saves all the way at the bottom. So when you you have to scroll down to the bottom page. You get down to the very bottom. This is the one I just did. Uh, you see something else you want, you can highlight it, click OK, and there's the saved. It says you're viewing wave, you know, 22 of 26. So nice little feature there. Uh, then you have return. There again, you can you can scroll through all the different saved waveforms. Return uh, page minus, which will take you up. into escape menu Oop, I need to return one more time all right now we're back would be this uh, calibration you can read on how to how to calibrate it basically have nothing hooked up to it no cable no no probe and but read the instructions then last but not least you have uh, the night mode this has a nice daytime white background uh, for viewing uh, you want to turn that off there now you have a a a, a dark background. I think that covers all the buttons. Hmm. All right. If you have any questions, let us know. And thank you for watching our video.